So, it's the end of the challenge, mm -hmm. and I've shared with you, but I'm going to just, just say it, that I plan to continue eating this way. Right. And I know you're okay with it, short yes. term being a year. Oh, Which, no, 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 it's not so much about the time frame, it's until it looks like it's not helpful. Okay. Well, and, and I trust, like, you know, because you're very observant, so... I am. <laughs> I will listen to you. I'll try not to frustrate you. Right. Um... Because I, my goal is to be healthy. That was my right. goal from the very beginning of this and everything else I'm doing mm -hmm. to reach optimal health. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep with eating this way. Yeah, I think you should. And at the same time, not be legalistic. Meaning, um, you know, it's like, should I do vegan or raw vegan or this or that? Right. And I've been even hearing within the vegan community, like, it can be click. I mean, that's any time you have a community, right. people divide. Yeah. So. I just want to be healthy. Right. You know? I, well, I feel like that's the right approach. Yeah. Because you know, then you allow yourself the freedom to adjust. You yeah. don't put yourself into a box, you know, of other people's definition. Mm -hmm. You can just figure out your own path. And that's the right way to do it. Mm hmm It's good. And uh, maybe you said you would consider doing like a week? Just I would consider doing it for a week. Yes, I would. Mm -hmm. But I, but again, it's in line with what we were talking about. Just I eat a lot of meat, so I know I need to cut down on eating meat. So it makes sense to me to go through a season, same way that we've done cleanses, right? Yeah. To do like a season where you say, you know what, I'm just going to eat raw, or mm -hmm. I'm just going to eat fruits and vegetables, or I'm just going to eat whatever, and just see what happens. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to see in this like next step of me eating vegan? I feel like personally, I was telling Christine, mm -hmm. I've been trying all these great restaurants. Yes. Um, I think the next step, and I need tools, I've shared with you. Mm -hmm. A few simple tools would be to learn how to actually make the dishes right. at home. Right. Right. Yeah, I feel like that's the next step because that's really how you make it sustainable. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not sustainable to go out and eat restaurants every day. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> it will be, but either way, it's not like wise because you don't even because yeah. you don't know what they're putting in there anyway. Yeah. So. Well, the thing with veganism, if you're vegan, you're pretty conscious about the way you eat. Right. So what I find is. They are really careful about, like, you can rest assured they're not using, like, canola oil. Right. In, putting, you know what I mean? Like, they're the, uh, conscious all the way through. Putting poison in the food, right. So, but still, yeah. yeah. It's just good to be able, if nothing else, I find, like, um, if I can make these dishes, then, say we go, we're invited to a party. You can bring it. You know, I can bring a couple of things and expose our friends and family, and mm. if it's actually good, then they're like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, hmm. Yeah. Not like, oh, it's really weird. Right, exactly. And then, like, give me a plate of lettuce. Yeah, it's amazing. that's all that's at the party. Well, it's, ama know? it's amazing how when you present something like, hey, this is good food, try it. You, you get a totally different response than, hey, this is vegan, or hey, this is whatever, try it. Because, yeah. you know, you kind of, you, you bypass people's prejudices. And yeah. you say, oh, good food, I'll, I'll eat it. Yeah, and I heard this guy actually last night. He's been he was like vegan from life, and mm. then he kind of rebelled and as a fourteen year old and ate meat, and mm. then he came actually came back mm -hmm. because he had health issues, and he was saying like he actually wasn't picked on because his dad told him, if you're proud of what you are, people will accept it. If you're like oh yeah I'm like Very vegan, true. then people will pick on you. Meat eaters will pick on you. You gotta own it. But if you're like yeah I'm vegan and it's amazing and I feel healthy and this and that like people. Even if they don't understand well, it, they'll they have a completely different attitude towards it. Well, especially if you own it in a way that's not judgmental. Exactly. Right. So where it's like, hey, this is what I do, but do you? Yeah. And usually that'll make people more intrigued. Actually. Yeah. Say, oh, well, why do you do that? Like, mm -hmm. you know, you don't judge me for how I'm eating or how I'm living or whatever right. it is, because it's not just eating. It's like life, right? Yeah. You know, whatever your one's way of life is, you know, if you can live it out with confidence and strength, but mm -hmm. without imposing it on other people, then people tend to be interested. Yeah, which yeah. is why I still, I made you pizza today, it had chicken on it. Yeah. I'm not going to not make you. It was good. <laughs> it had cheese. Oh, we'll today, it was good. And mine had nutritional yeast, tomatoes, um, olives. Yours look good too. And uh, garlic, lots of garlic. Garlic is good. It's our friend. Yeah. Although it's not the friend of people who have to deal, Speak. With, deal with us <laughs> eating garlic. I yes. love garlic. I used to chew on it raw. Whoa. Those days might come back. Whoa.
<laughs> Might have to, you know, holler at some uh, Listerine or the uh, no, no, environmentally, no. environmentally friendly version of Listerine. There you okay, go. there it is. There it is. Yes. I don't know that brand. So, I couldn't say it. Well, thank you for supporting me. No problem. Yes. I know. You know, you had questions, but yes. thank you for at least supporting me and continuing to support me. I, I will always support you. Yes. All right. Well, that's a wrap. Adios.